Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 2 of I'm in Love with a Villainess. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, we know, babe. We know. Yeah, guys, I am so sorry. Like, if I had not gotten hella turnt on Monday, it is now 11.19. I, I came home even today. I ate, hung out with my mom, and I was like, shit, I need to get this done. So you're getting it tomorrow. <laughs> but I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get drunk. I wanted the trick-or-treat. <laughs> Right. You just automatically put her at one. Oh my god, is she the avatar? <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but third's not good enough, though. Oh, my God, Red. <laughs> Yeah, she's right. Which means Ray wins. Which means she's going to ask you a question. Knowing her, it might be a little sexual. <laughs> Okay. Right? I, I mean... <laughs> the 
There's got to be a reason on why she said that. And of course, because she knows everything. Yeah, you really didn't want anything else? Bray's not going to try to be a maid for a day. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Oh my God. Oh. Uh. Right. My girl. <laughs> what? I mean, yeah. I'm crying. <laughs> this girl, like, yes. I can be around her and I can work for her at the same time. I'll get off on that. But like, girl. I don't know why, but he gives me hella vibes towards, um, is it the headmaster from Spy Family? How he kind of sounds like him a little bit too, like a little teeny tiny bit. Um, a secret word. Player, I, I think you should go, you know, just to be safe. Oh, she knows a lot.
<laughs> Good fucking bye. Oh my god. <laughs>Okay, she'll be very happy about that. <laughs> Me with my other number one fan. <laughs> And guess she see, I think she knows who she is because of course like she's also watching this too and she freaked out about the fact that I was watching this. <laughs> Yeah, she's right. Okay, so she's kind of like, um, I from Kaguya Summer. That makes sense. Did you barely eat? <laughs> you gotta eat everything. Oh, come on. Mm hmm. <laughs> she was like, hell nah. Yeah, and, and you know, he, he wants to try. Once again, my behind will be trying for you. Because look, look at him. He's so cute. I would definitely do him. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I would try all three because all three are like literally guys that I would date and anime men that I'm also attracted to. But we all have our personal faves.
I mean, hold up, Claire, time out, babe. Time out, babe. You ain't still got to continuously call her a commoner. Be good. Call her name, name basis, right? Damn. I mean, girl. But yeah, I get it. Because, yeah, she's, you know, she here and she here. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, if we look up the word obsessive in the dictionary, she is there. But, you know, she does it kind of, do I want to say in a healthy way? <laughs> Apples and oranges, right? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just because you, know, you want to confess and be like, yeah, I love you so much. It's cute. We all do it. But, you know, sometimes I'd be like, girl, I thought too damn much. The question is, are we ever really going to get answers on, like, her mom in the situation? Like, her mom had to, I'm guessing, pass away, right? The way she looks with her hair down and what, she looks like a guy. And I was just like, for a moment, I was like, hold up, wait. Claire, oh my god, honey. Right? <laughs> oh, right? No, we're good. <laughs> Plus, we can't really get there super duper quickly. It's only episode two. Of course she is. She loves everything about you, Claire.
she's after is you, honey. All right, if you insist. Yeah, but that heart is just beating fast. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. Like, just, okay. The moment between them, the way she looks up at Ray, and you can just feel the sexual tension between these two, but I love at the same time, it's not like other Gearies that I've seen where it's like, oh no, let's get right up into it. Let's literally get up into this action. We're getting ones where, and typically a lot of Yuri's are doing this now, and I love it, where it is slow pace. It is first one-sided, of course, because yes, obviously Ray is hella over heels in love with Claire, and Claire's over here like, I really don't want to give this girl the time of the day, nothing, the week, the month, the year, my time, like, mm -mm. it's about me, myself, and I, you, you just stay there, stay in your lane, stay in your side, like, uh-uh, we in two different worlds, we cannot coexist, we cannot be together, it, no, no, but, like, Ray, Ray's gonna be like, nah, damn well, I am fucking trying, because she's in love with her so freaking much. And it's cute. Like, oh my god. This girl went crazy enough to go ahead and be a goddamn maid. To be fucking close with her. Think about that. Think about that. The next time you get into a relationship. It don't matter, like, where, where you are. Let's say, like, you get a job somewhere. And... <laughs> Ain't that the King's game? It seemed like that. Um, let's say like you're you're at a job or you're maybe one day I'll do this speed dating. I, I don't know if I'll maybe do this. What one day when I am like I'm not in the like desperate ish, and I, I mean you know what? Let me take that back because I don't think speed dating is desperate. Um, I've no, no, there, there's a line of desperation, especially with the show that I'm currently watching now, that hinders that, and I feel like because of what the frick is going on in that show now, that show is slowly but surely about to get canceled, and we all freaking know, um, and such. But we'll talk about that another day, because we'll find out those answers on Friday. But let's say you are doing speed dating. Let's say you want a reality TV show and you say, hey, I want to date this person or shit like that. Or you just, you meet someone, you really hit it off with the person and they want, they're moving like hella fast. And let's say they decide to leave their job and they want to work where you work so that you can see each other 24-7. Yeah, that's a little too much. But I, I get where some people say, oh, no, that's romantic and sweet. But then at the same time, I'm like, no, because if y'all don't hit it off and let's say something happens between y'all, that's super awkward and such. That's why I literally cannot, like, even if I wanted to, especially in the job that I am now, like, um, at my job, there are no, there, there, there are no fine behind guys. It, it's just, it's more of a, what I like to call female empowerment um, working job and such. And so, yeah, sometimes, sometimes I get a good looking man coming in the store and, and sometimes I look like <laughs> absolute crap. I think like what, to, was it today? Today or maybe like Sunday? Oh, we yeah, no, Sunday. Sunday, girl. <laughs> Bye, my man. I was like, oh my God. I was like, why is it that every single time when I go to work, 
every freaking time. Fine ass guys want to come to the store to return something, and then I'm like, damn, you look good. But I can't tell them. Okay, see, the worst thing I have, well, no, not the worst thing. The funniest thing I've done at work when it comes to a guy who's coming to the store to, like, return something or they're asking me a question or they need to notarize something or, like, whatever. So, <laughs> this was a random, I don't remember what day of the week it was, um, but, of course, it had to be on one of the couple of days that I work and, of course, where my coworkers are at the store with me, so. So, this guy came in, I walk up, I say, hi, you know, how are you, how can I help you and such. And I got, like, he, he asked me a question and such, but at the same time when he was asking me the question, I got, like, a wolf, like, a really good, nice smelling smell of his cologne. And I had to stop him mid-conversation. And I was like, sir, excuse me. I was like, I know you just asked me for this, but I got to tell you something. You smell good. And he, he immediately freaking blush and I thought it was the cutest thing ever and so I was, at first I was like oh my god I'm sorry I was like I do not mean to say that I'm like I'm trying to be a professional and I'm just like but when you can't help it oh my god I can't and it's just it's worse it's also worse because of the fact is here in Florida it's starting to get a little chilly and such and that means it's slowly but surely but a great fucking sweatshirt or sweatshirt or sweater or freaking hoodie, not hoodie, um, sweatpants season, and we all know what that means. I'm not ready for that. I'm gonna die. <laughs> but going back to this episode, this is cute! I, I love just, like, the cute little wholesome moments that these two have with each other, even though, like I said once again, Claire is over here, like, I feel some type of way about this girl, like, yeah, she, she gives me butterflies and everything, but at the same time, I'm not really sure yet. Yes, the way this girl just looked at me, even though at the same time, she bothers the hell out of me, you know, but I, I, I like that, though. She She's still trying to figure it out, and so that's why I'm like, once again, Claire is going to be the one who is still unsure, very much show, or, uh, show I cannot speak, oh my god, while Ray is instantly in love and such and wanting Claire to reciprocate her feelings and such. Until about a certain point of episode where, you know, Claire is just like, you know what? I can deny it no longer. <laughs> and, and when she finally, or how it is going to be hopefully a confession, we pray that we get that, fingers crossed. It's going to be cute and wholesome. And I'm like, oh, yay. <laughs> but the guys also, like, I, I love how Rod was just trying his freaking hardest to literally have a moment with um, Ray, but Ray is like, I, I don't want to have nothing to do with you. Like, you are the side quest to my main quest. Sit your ass down. That is her. Like, oh my god. <laughs> That's so sad to say, though, but it, it, it's so fucking true. Like, she literally does not want to give him any of her attention. Like, 24-7, it is nothing but... Claire. Miss freaking Claire. That is it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode two of I'm in Love with the Villainous. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos if you want to join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all on Monday for episode three. Bye, guys!